this is going to be a video explaining why tides work the way they do. Everyone just says, oh, it's because of the moon. It is because of the moon, but I'm going to explain why the moon has that effect on the tides. If you're from the blog, hi, it's nice that people read it. If you've just happened across the video, I run a physics blog with a friend, I'll put it in the box below. You'll probably like that if you liked this, which hopefully you will. Okay, so yeah, tides. I don't need to use equations for this, so I won't. If I do, I'll tell you what the letters all stand for. So let's start with f gravity as a force on an object. Say you have a planet, that's my planet. So this here is my planet, and over here I've got a smaller planet. This smaller planet exerts a force on this as a result of gravity. We're going to say this is a point mass, so the distances involved in calculating gravity will always be worked out from that one point. So we don't have to worry about that one at all. But the gravity acting on this acts everywhere on the planet, so I'm going to represent that with some arrows. I don't know how well you can see it, because it's not a very good camera. The arrows at the front are longer than the arrows over here, because the distance involved is greater. And the further away from an object you get, the less effect gravity has on you. This is the force acting on this planet. The force of gravity acting on a planet is based on several things. It's based on the mass of one of the first planet, the mass of the second planet, and the distance in between. How big the force is affects how big the acceleration due to gravity would be at any point. So the acceleration varies with separation. Basically, as you move further away, there is less acceleration due to gravity. So on Earth, the acceleration due to gravity at sea level is 9.81 meters a second. Higher up, it's less than that. If you go underground, it's more than that. Now I'm going to draw a bigger body so you can see better, hopefully. And now we're focusing on the acceleration due to gravity. If I've got my little point mass over here on this side of the page, the acceleration is still going to be bigger here and smaller here. The acceleration will be somewhere in the middle, in the centre of that body. Now, tides are based on a thing called differential acceleration, which is also called tidal acceleration, which is a lot easier to remember. But basically, you want to know how the acceleration has affected things on the surface of the body, so you take away the acceleration from the centre of the body from all the other accelerations. So if I draw this in red, we take that same distance going the other way, so there, which completely cancels out and then there's just no acceleration there. If I draw the same thing here, that's the same length, and it leaves you with that much acceleration going in that direction. If I draw it here, it leaves me with that much acceleration going in the opposite direction. There's no acceleration in this plane because there's no mass affecting it. Therefore, you end up with tides, or whatever it's acting on, going like this. So your tides end up big over here and small here. And that's because of the acceleration due to the gravity exerted by this mass over here. So on Earth, this would be the Earth, this would be the Moon. The reason tides are higher when the Moon and the Sun line up is because there's more gravity in that direction. So the differential acceleration is greater. When the Sun and the Moon are at right angles to each other, so you've got Earth, over here you've got the Sun, over here you've got the Moon, you've got to imagine that the Moon is making it look like that, the tides, and the Sun making it look like that. So that's when you've got the lowest high tides of the year, when the Sun and the Moon are at right angles to each other. This principle can be used to explain why planets have rings also. I don't know if you want to know that, if you do, I'll make a separate video because I have a feeling this video is long enough already. Good. 